Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Monday, June the 17th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the SkyCam network from central Alabama. There's the Tuscaloosa SkyCam. We see a, a little bit of clear skies over the city of Tuscaloosa, but we see some clouds off to the southeast. And then we look uh, from Jasper, and kind of a similar situation. Looks like some clearing spots, but we do have clouds across the area. Looks like we're going to see an area of enhanced showers and thunderstorms today, uh, stretching from Oklahoma across Arkansas and into uh, northern and central Alabama, as well as uh, northern and central uh, Georgia. Uh, we're still dealing with this front that's off to the north, but in the upper atmosphere, we're dealing with almost, but not quite a zonal flow, a sort of a slight troughiness over the eastern half of the country. And in that flow, we see a number of little disturbances that are helping to kick off showers and thunderstorms. We saw those uh, little one of those little disturbances kick off some showers and thunderstorms late yesterday uh, evening and into um, the hours just before midnight. Temperatures across central Alabama generally in the lower 70s this morning, and of course humidity is up pretty good. Uh, you notice the dew points ranging from about 68 to 72, so uh, that's one of the reasons we're getting more showers is having uh, that greater moisture. There's a look at the regional radar, and you can see a little disturbance over Georgia. There's another little disturbance over uh, the area just to the southwest of Memphis, and then we have another disturbance that's over Oklahoma. So we're going to be watching those as they come through. And as each of those moves along, we'll also see the heating of the day help to increase showers and thunderstorms. Overall, some spots could get as much as two to three inches of rain over the next five days, uh, most of that coming Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I think by the middle of the week and into the latter part of the week, we get back to a more typical diurnal shower activity. Upslope flow um, has uh, created a slight risk area. We've seen this for the last couple of days, and it's going to be in for days one, two, and three, uh, extending from extreme uh, western uh, Nebraska down into the Texas Panhandle. This is day one. Day two, not much change to that area. So we also have a number of sea text areas where isolated storms could become severe but not expected to be organized. And then we see the same thing on day three for this uh, the SPC's outlook. Tropics are relatively quiet, but the National Hurricane Center is watching an area of disturbed weather that is in the, I guess I'd call that the Western Caribbean. And that area... Um, it looks like it could develop somewhat before it moves ashore in the vicinity of the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, but um, I think its proximity to land, uh, it's probably not going to develop much. All right, here's the 06Z GFS model run, and uh, you can see from the surface map for today that indeed we're going to see showers and thunderstorms erupting primarily in the heat of the day, so don't look for showers and thunderstorms much until probably very late morning and into the early and mid-afternoon hours. The flow continues to be somewhat trophy, trophy over the eastern half of the country, and you can see that we've got a couple of little disturbances, one uh, over about the in the vicinity of Nashville and another one up uh, just to the west of Chicago, and uh, those will be helping to increase showers and thunderstorms again on Tuesday. The uh, flow, uh, the, the troughiness kind of sharpens just a little bit on Wednesday, uh, but we still have those little disturbances moving through. And here's the issue where, not quite sure if the GFS is right on this, but kind of uh, grasping hold of this, it looks like much of the showers will probably be pushed a little further to the south. So we might actually have a shower-free day, though I don't think I can actually remove shower chances completely from the forecast. Uh, once again, the... Uh, the flow is a little bit trophy over the southeastern U.S., but we see the ridge off to the west on Thursday begin to kind of edge our way a little bit. And once again, GFS not suggesting much in the way of showers, uh, but I think we have to stick showers in uh, again for that particular period of time. The ridge becomes more established on Friday, and so once again, we're back to the diurnal showers uh, thanks to afternoon heating. By the time we reach uh, the weekend, Saturday, the ridge seems to be well established over the eastern half of the country, and so we stay uh, with no, nothing to change the moisture content of the atmosphere. We stay in a summertime weather pattern. We see that again on Sunday, the ridge uh, building up towards uh, New York. Uh, 
uh, across the southeastern U.S., so kind of a an extension there of, of the ridge building in. And then we see that the ridge is still there, but we're beginning to show uh, on Monday, and we're beginning to show that maybe the ridge is flattening a little bit uh, thanks to a little uh, troughiness moving through, a little short wave moving through the uh, flow in the vicinity of the Great Lakes. And indeed, it looks like uh, you can see a front extending there from uh, southeastern Canada down into uh, Kansas and Nebraska. And uh, so it looks like, uh, and we're under more or less just the, once again, the diurnal showers. Extending the forecast out into the future, it's still, uh, the GFS still suggesting this big heat bubble. You see that 594 contour out in the Atlantic. Uh, certainly would be a rather warm pattern, but also notice there's a very big trough uh, back there in uh, south-central Canada. And indeed, the GFS is suggesting now a more long-wave trough position around the 3rd of July uh, in the vicinity, 2nd or 3rd of July. Uh, and that would certainly uh, help to reduce the summer heat at least somewhat. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for today. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, remember, James is on vacation, so we're on a one-a-day schedule uh, coming mostly in the morning. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope that your day is a good one. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.